Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. My name is Kamoy. I want to thank you once again. Welcome my wonderful Scorpios. I know it's been a minute, but I have been traveling. I do work in the music entertainment field. So I took a, um, a business trip for one week and it turned into almost three. So I do apologize for not posting for... Um, about three weeks okay so today we are doing your full moon reading this is going to be for your sun your moon your rising and your venus you need to remember that energy is fluid and the universe don't give a shit about time okay which means that you need to take what you need and leave what you don't do not get uh caught up in the time you just want to get caught up in the energy and see what resonates and um do what's necessary and move accordingly okay these videos are for my light workers, my empaths, uh, anyone that feels that they are ascending, anyone that feels that they're into mysticism, um, you're looking into signs and symbols, anyone that needs encouragement, inspiration, um, knowledge, information, you may be able to find a little of everything here, okay? All right, so I start my readings off with pulling two chakra cards, and in your pre-pull, you got wisdom and acceptance. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is two. This is two. Wow. And we got bittersweet and impatience popping out. Um, with your throat chakras, which is really all about expressing yourself. I think I want to keep these. I want to keep these. Um, I want to keep these. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. First of all, let me just start by saying that I am a certified Reiki energy healer. So my readings are based on your chakra systems. And it's all about self mastery which means if you're coming here to this channel um to see how other people's shit is going on but you're not willing to do the work that's not how this shit is going to work okay if you're into self-mastery and growth you can find something here okay um bittersweet is a throat chakra card as well as uh impatience that is also a throat chakra card your throat chakra is responsible for how you express yourself okay um, so blue cards are always throat chakra cards. Uh, and because I am an energy healer, I'm not going to send you away and you're not without information. I am going to give you information so you can grow. Okay. So when your throat chakra is um, blocked or unhealthy, you can find that you have problems expressing yourself. Okay. Or you can find that you just talk too much for no apparent reason. All right. Um, you can also find that you have difficulty. Um, 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 putting your words together, you have fear of speaking, okay? Now, when your uh, throat chakra is balanced, okay, you're operating in um, your true power in your, your throat chakra, you're a good listener, a good, communica good communicator, um, and you're speaking from a place where um, you're living your life, right, to your own sense of your timing and rhythm, okay? Now, your, your throat chakra is also connected to AKA the ethers, okay? Your Akashic records, okay? Maybe one day I might do an Akashic pull. That might be a good pull, all right? Um, so all in all, you want to get to a healthy place where you're able to express yourself. And that kind of fits into what I was feeling as I was meditating on a uh, Scorpios, right? Um, before this reading, I felt like there was a sense of empowerment coming in, but we were going to have to push through some things. I felt like there were decisions that were going to be made. And these are not decisions really on an outer level, my wonderful Scorpios. These are decisions more from an internal place of depth, okay? These are more decisions um, that you will need to make to set you up for the new coming energy within this new zodiac cycle okay now with that being said i know in the past videos i have been saying we have stepped into energetic patterns my wonderful scorpios where if you're not building your shit on integrity shit is going to crumble okay the post full moon reading for um the full moon in scorpio this was all about um you being able to release shit okay um 
I feel like we are going through a whole lot of shedding right now, Scorpios. And you have to keep in mind that Pluto is in retrograde also. And we're ruled by Mars and Pluto. So personally, if you're feeling stagnant, like you feel like you, you want to get up and do things and things are just slowly moving, you're going to have to be able to motivate yourself because this is not the time to shrink back, okay? This is the time more to go with your spirit and... Oh, wow, it's pouring. Rain is coming down heavy. That's that cleansing, okay? This is a time where you want to really be able to get quiet. You want to really be able to go within the depths and plan the next six months. Um, because the next six months is going to set you up really for the next cycle, okay? Especially coming into this new energy in 2020. Um, we are now um, astrolog astrology astrologically right and with um all of these planetary alignments we have shifted into really really um empowering energy but you cannot not move in this energy you can't be stagnant okay you can't be stagnant um there are decisions that you need to make in your career. There are decisions that you need to make in your personal relationships. There are decisions that you need to make in your romantic relationships. There are decisions that you need to make within yourself. This is a time where you have to stand in your truth. It is important for you to know who you are. It is important for you to know what you want. And then it is important for you to take action and move accordingly. However... I know you're going to get this because you were Scorpio. Okay. It doesn't matter um, how the outer world um, perceives how you should move. Okay. Um, you've always been in a place, Scorpio, where you felt misunderstood because of how you think and how you feel. Okay. Just get that. You are one of the uh, signs or you are the sign in the zodiac that feels everything on a depth level. And people don't always get that. So it's all about the under how do things work, the understanding of things, really getting an understanding of the beginning and the creation of things. Okay. So you move differently. You don't move based on um, uh, how things may look. You know, you got to really go in and really uncover shit for you to move properly, okay? This is a season where this Phoenix energy that we've been talking about that has risen. This is a season for you to actually step into that shit and map shit out for the next six years, okay? This bittersweet card right here is saying, okay, you've cried some tears, but there's a fucking cake being offered to you, okay? Not a slice, mm-mm, mm-mm, not a slice, but a whole cake being offered to you. So yeah, bittersweet moment, but you can enjoy this cake. Cry if you need to, but you need to set some shit up. You need to start putting some things into motion and you need to start speaking your truth. I'm not saying you got to argue with people, but what I am saying is you're going to have to start shutting some things down. Okay? You don't got to argue with people. You don't got to argue with people. And shutting things down does not mean that you have to do this on an out of physical level. Okay? I'm talking to my fucking mystics here. I'm talking to my mystics. Okay? Y'all yeah, know what I mean by that. You do not have to operate externally. And this is what gets you confused. Um, uh, This is what confuses people about you. Right? This is what confuses people about you, Scorpio, because um, you're going to sit back and you're going to observe. You're going to watch how people move because you can map somebody out walking into a room. You can read somebody just like that. Okay. So right now, I, what's coming um, intuitively is spiritual warfare. Right now, we in some spiritual warfare, warfare shit, Scorpio, um, because elevation, growth, uh, is at hand, okay? Um, and with, with Pluto in retrograde, all right, it's causing you to circle back to things. Retrograde means that you got to circle back to some shit that needs, you know, your attention, okay? So with this Pluto in retrograde, it's really intro, um, it's about being introspective at this point. It's about looking at shit um, introspective from within at this point on a deeper level of shit, okay? All these tears that you don't cry, okay? This cape that's being offered to you, 
look at the, the space of um, not from impatience, right? Because you don't want to have impatience. It's kind of like cooking. Right, if you bake in the chicken, you know, I'm West Indian. So first we gotta clean the chicken, soak it up in some vinegar, lemon juice, let that shit marinate for a little while, rinse it off, you know, season it, you know. Um, even maybe have to season that bad boy overnight, you know, twenty four hours so you get all that good fresh um herbs that we you know, your onions, your pepper, your scallions, you know, your thyme, you know. Um everything that you need to make this work, make it flavorful. You got a 24 hours in the refrigerator, you pull it out, then you still got to bake it for about an hour and a half. So all of that is preparation time. So you can't just take the fucking chicken out of the bag, um, you know, and, and from the supermarket and eat it. There's a process. So you're going to have to have patience within this process. I'm talking to my mystics here because y'all creating some shit. We are creating shit. We are creating... I feel like this video is for... I feel like this video is really, really, really for my mystics that know that there's some shit going on and it's time for you to get in line, in alignment. Okay? All right. Um, 11, 11. Okay. The first uh, two cards are going to represent the overall energy. The second two cards are going to represent um, the right now energy. And the final two cards are going to represent the final um, and best outcome. Okay? Now... I do want you to pay attention that uh, this is an intuitive uh, full moon reading. However, uh, the first 12 minutes was really just breaking down your throat chakra energy of bittersweet and impatience. This is not a season for you to shrink back. Okay. So now we're going to gain clarity on what is it asking you to be impatient for and allowing the time to... Um, of digestion to happen like you got to digest shit okay um and what is it asking you to see right beauty in okay look at the dove it's freedom okay all right you have two major chakra. I'm um, sorry, two major arcana cards in the board. You have the you have one in your overall energy, and you have one in your final outcome. All right. Uh, we are going to be using for clarification. We're going to be using uh, vision quest. Yes. Your arms. One second. Your arms. You get better directions. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Ooh, that's a big box. I appreciate you. How much you said? Two packs of 16 or 60? Uh, no, I said 16, but if you got 60, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So. <sighs> Scorpios. You're being asked to come into balance and to have patience. And it's here. You have impatience here, and then you have temperance on the board showing up in your overall energy. There's a need to balance. And I also hear some of you, um, and this is happening with me also, just like on an easy fucking, like this shit. Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing first downloads, yes, um, uh, but I'm also seeing um, healthy habits coming into play without me um, trying to shift shit or change shit, right? Perfect example. Like, I haven't really had any um, alcohol in, like, three days. And it's summertime. And I love me a cold beer on a hot summer night. I'm just saying, okay? Okay. Uh, my appetite for food has changed. So what I'm saying is some of you, you will find your diet changing. You will find even the type of music that you want to um, listen to and engage with. That's going to be changing also. You may even find that you want to go in a hermit mode. Okay, you just don't want to do a lot of talking. You don't want to do a lot of explanation. Like you want quiet time. You want to be able to listen. Okay. Okay. 
you're going to have to get to a place where you're able to compromise and just let go of the, the things that you don't have to even be stressed over, right? It's all about timing here. It's all about timing. You've got to have patience. So it's asking you to have patience. This is this is key for us because, you know, some of us, we, you know, we want things to happen immediately. But this is going to be key for us, Scorpios. We're going to have to have some patience because we're working with some mysticism shit here. Oh, shit. You got the four of pentacles on the board, a.k.a. the four of earth on the board. And it's asking you to pay attention to how you're spending money or not spending money or where you're spending money. It's asking you to make sound and wise business decisions, right? Let me explain to you how energetically how money works, okay? Money is energy, which means that anything that you hold on to, there is no, there's not a good energetic flow of good, um, for it to come and go, okay? Um, you first have to change your mindset of how you feel about money and become friends with money. Like you can't have a problem with money. If you think that money is your enemy, then you do not give it a friendly invitation to come into your life. Fuck, I don't want to hang with nobody that don't like me and think I'm their enemy. So why would money want to come in if you think it's an enemy and it's evil? Okay. That's number one. Okay. Okay. Um, the Four of Pentacles, a.k.a. the Four of Earth, is also asking you to have control. This is saying stability is coming in, but you're going to have to act accordingly. Okay? You can't be fearful around money. Ask for the strength to, to, to make wise and sound decisions when it comes to do with money. And then sit back and watch the guidance uh, and watch the universe do things for you. Okay? But you're going to have to watch how you spend your money. Spirit is saying, if you are concerned about money and you are worried about money, you've got the Father of Earth on the board, a.k.a. the King of Pentacles on the board. It's saying security and control and discipline is needed because abundance is yours to have. But you're going to have to have patience. What are you asking them to have patience for, though? Let's get this. I want to know. What are you asking them to have patience for? Vice versa, Beck. What's going on? Because I feel like lives are changing. I feel like lives are changing. But I feel like this is some spiritual shit that's going to manifest like in this, in this realm. What are you asking them to be better? Um, what are you asking them to have balance in? What are you asking Your emotions. We got the four of cups on the board. You got the four of cups on the board. It's saying you definitely need to go into a meditative space and reevaluate yourself. Whatever missed opportunities you think you've had, right? You're getting ready to sail past that, right? You're not here anymore where you're crying over spilt milk, right? Or where you just keep reminiscing and all the fucked up shit. And, and repeating that negative cycle. It's kind of like you're here. You're in a meditative mode. Where you are looking to actually learn from your experiences. And some of you may just be freaking bored. Because. Some of you may just be bored. Because. It's time for you to get up and do what you know you need to do. Okay. It's time for you to do that. Whatever is gripping you emotionally, and it feels like it has to do maybe with money, right? Let's see. 
I don't think you guys are the only one that had um, issues surrounding money. I think Taurus had that also. A lot of pinnacle energy, earth energy on the board. Okay. No, I'm not going to take all of these. All right, we need explanation here. Mm. Your Ten of Cups is coming in. It kind of feels like past um, relationships, right? May not have been equally balanced on or on an equally an equally balanced um, playing field emotionally, right? Or financially, but you're gonna have your ten of cups because I feel like you've been doing the work. Should I know I have? This happiness that you've been seeking, right? This alignment that you've been, you know, you've been seeking. This could be marriage for some of you. This is just harmony within your emotions, right? Which then brings harmony within your life. And I say that because your heart chakra is your true compass. And if you can balance your heart chakra and live in harmony within your heart chakra. So this is not about somebody really um, coming in and doing this for you. This is you going and doing the work from within and then attracting this to you. So you do have your Ten of Cups coming in because it kind of feels like you've learned. You've learned. But you got to pay attention to how you spend money. Because it feels like some of you don't have a good relationship with money. And that's really based on your thinking, though. All right. Clarify this Four of Cups energy. Sorry, this Four of Cups energy with this Four of Cups energy. And that's two fours on the board. So we want to clarify this. I need more information on what's going on. Oh... Okay, I just heard some of you may have been um, spending money to kind of um, numb the pain, right, of whatever this emotional um, um, whatever this emotional stuff is may it feel like you missed an opportunity uh you know uh or some of you just bored because you're not doing what the fuck you're supposed to be doing right you got the eight of wands energy now eight of wands has to do with your uh intuition right now the eight of wands energy is saying that it's time for movement change is happening it's time for you to take action right you got the sun card on the board, but the sun card is in the shadow side where you're not. You got walls up. Right? Some of you may feel depressed. This over here may have left you felt stuck. Right? Some of you could have lost a whole bunch of money. Um, some of you could have lost a whole bunch of money. Because uh, you trusted somebody. This fast change coming in, though. This fast change coming in to break down these walls. Because you got the sun card showing up. That's just a temporary depression right here. You're just going through a temporary depression. That's that energy that I was saying that you're going to have to push past. You're going to have to push past your emotions, my wonderful water sign, Scorpio. You cannot get stuck in your emotions right now. This is some, oh, fuck. Who the fuck is coming back? 
somebody coming back. And they coming back, honey, like somebody thinking about you. Somebody's coming back. Somebody's thinking about you. Okay, let me, all right. Ugh, okay. What I'm hearing is in this full moon, this full moon energy that just took place yesterday in Sagittarius, you're going to have to pay attention to your heart. You're going to have to pay attention to all the seeds that you've planted, especially within um, the 2012 uh, closing out in 2018. Okay. There was a lot of work being done. I can see how a person going through great transformation from since 2012 will be in patience. Hey, over here. I can see that. Right. Um, however, this right now is a, about you being able to express yourself. Right. There was some traumatic things that took place between the, um, the time period of 2012 um, and kind of started to clear up in 2018. And that's a very long time. And this is where your bittersweet moments. Okay. Um, are coming from. I feel like there's something going on. Linked to your ten of cups. With somebody from the past coming back in. Um, to offer you something. That you may have felt that was taken away from you. Okay. They're coming back in to offer you stability. They're coming back in to offer you security and, um, you know. But you're also being asked to pay attention to any um, maybe self-protection guards that you might put up, right? Be open to your communication with money because this person can also be fucking loaded, Or have the potential for you guys to um to create wealth wealth together. Now, wealth does not have to be financial wealth. This can be um emotional wealth. Okay, I think there was a lag, so let me just say that again. Wealth does not have to also be financial wealth. This can be emotional wealth, spiritual wealth, right? Yeah. Somebody have walls up. Remember, energy is fluid. So if this is not you, this could be um, the energy you're interacting with. Somebody wants to come in or come back, right? Somebody wants to come back in and offer you this Ten of Cups. Yep. There was a temporary depression, maybe. Right. Yep. Maybe lack of success in the in the, you know. And this is gonna be a surprise to you. Like I really feel like you're not gonna even when this circles back, you're not it, like it's gonna yeah, it's gonna catch you off guard. But that know that you've been doing okay. Know that you have been doing the work and transforming from, from, like I said, going so. Now, based on your birth chart and on your natal chart, what you can find is that um, in some areas of your life, you feel like transition has come, right? But for some of you, uh, when it comes to your love life, especially when it comes in your finances, right? Um, there may have sense of... Uh, there may have been a sense of feeling alone um, while in relationships, okay? And what I hear is that's coming to an end. There's some release and stuff that, that's happening. Uh, that has happened. Does somebody want to come back in? Okay, so we got the king of water coming in. See, yeah, we got the king of water in your right now energy clarified by the five of ear. 
Five of eight ear is aka ear the five of swords swords represents your mental and your spiritual thinking and this five of ear right here this is where um somebody hurt you or there was like uh, a lot of tension some betrayal type shit okay um this king of water energy aka the king of cups energy is saying you're gonna have to open your heart and let shit go um, this is now a place where you're going to be attracting more trustworthy relationships if you are doing the work, right? And it's really saying, I can heal all of this painful shit that you've been through. You're the phoenix, Scorpio. I can heal it. You're going to have to have some patience. You can't be impatient. And this is going to be a bittersweet memory. Uh, yeah. May have been bitter in the in the beginning, but it's going to be very sweet in the end. You got your ten of cups coming in. Somebody coming in to offer you some shit, you know. Mm. Ooh, baby. Okay, let's see what we got. All right. We got the king of swords, but he got his back turned, right? Now, remember, swords is all about your thinking. Right? Don't be manipulative. Don't be manipulative. Okay? Do not allow your pain and, and, and this betrayal energy for you to be emotionally manipulative. You don't need to do that. You got the nine of pentacles showing up. Right? This is time for you to really understand that manifestation is here. Right? So live from a place of gratitude. This is what this is asking you to do. You do not have to be manipulative. You just need to live from a place of gratitude and look look at what happened. You are a you are a mystic. I'm talking to my mystics. You do not have to get caught up in other people's negative energy patterns for you to live in a beautiful garden. Just live from a place of gratitude. Live from a place of being self-sufficient on a mental, spiritual, physical level and, and financial level. Okay? Now, remember, once again, money's energy. Right? Followed by the Queen of Pentacles here. Yep. The, the Queen of Pentacles is saying... I got this. I'm secure. I'm practical. Right? I'm enjoying my shit. Yeah, I worked hard for all this shit. Okay? All this emotional shit right here, yeah. Uh-huh. I can sit on my phone now and enjoy my coins. Because, yeah, all that emotional shit, I taught it to pay me. Right? Don't be impatient. Express yourself. Express yourself. Express yourself. You do not have to do it in a confrontational way. You do not have to do it in a confrontational way. According to my girl Kelly, she'll be telling me all the time, get on your high flying disc and fly far away above all this shit. Okay? Yep. Whoever is coming back in to offer you some shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got somebody coming in, hunter. You got a knight in shining armor coming in because you are pulling this shit in. Look at that. Can y'all see? Ooh, ooh, ooh. See? Night is shining on, ma. Manifestation, you creating that shit from within. Y'all gonna do well together financially, too. Y'all gonna do very, very well financially together. Yep. This is all about love. But it kind of feels like right now this love is it's not out in the open yet. This could be something that's hidden. Like it doesn't feel like it's out in the open yet. Hmm. Oh, 
you got the hangman popping up. Yeah, this person is 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 kind of like um they're indecisive of whether or not not if they want you to know per se, but it feels like more how they want to do this, how they want to let you know. Cuz it definitely feels like they want to let you they definitely want to let you know or you want to let somebody know. Mm. You got the five of wands and the board once again. Wands represents your intuition. There may have been some type of conflict. Maybe you guys had a fight. Okay. Yeah. There may have been a big fucking blow up. Remember, this does not have to be a lover. This can be a family member. This can be a friend. Soulmate doesn't always mean, you know, it's a lover. Soulmate can be a best friend, a sibling. But somebody, um, somebody cares and loves about you. You guys may have had a big fight and um, somebody's feeling indecisive about how they want to approach this. You got the six of pentacles on the board. Right? It's like they don't want to be selfish with their love anymore. It's like they want to share what they have. They want to share their wealth. And if they not, this is a one-sided relationship, you know, or it was one-sided. But I, I'm picking up like, they don't want it to be one-sided no more. You don't want it to be one-sided or you don't want a one-sided relationship, period, if you're single. Yep. Yep. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. And I like this. There's a lot of symbolism here in this Ten of Pentacles. You got the unk, right? You got the dog. Y'all need to Google what dog represents spiritually. And what dog spelled backwards means God. So you man's best friend. Right? This person wants to establish something with you. Right now, there is somebody in the background from your past that wants to establish something with you, okay? You got the Eight of Cups and the board. Yep. They may have been withdrawn, right? They may have just fucked them up and been ghost on your ass. <laughs> they must. They could have been fucking up and went ghost on your ass. Yeah. Yep. They may have went ghost on you. They want to come back. I just kind of feel like they don't really know how to do it. Boom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they feel like maybe they fucked it up. They got the Ten of Swords on the board. Maybe, like, they fucked it up. They just don't know how to fucking come back. They feel like you, you know, like, they have just stabbed you fucking repeatedly, like, you know... Made a promise, broke a promise, made a promise, broke a promise, made a promise, broke a promise. Made a promise, broke a promise. Mm. Ow. Page of Wands. Look at that Phoenix, baby. Look at that Phoenix. They want to send you a message. They want to send you a message. Yeah, baby. That page is saying, ah. Out of the ashes, the Phoenix rises. 
they feel like this is probably they feel like this could be a deep you know like a because what I'm getting from this and if I'm look like I'm drawn to the stars and the heavens in the background and they feel like this is divine and and they literally feel fucked up that they did not recognize it before and it's like they don't know how to fucking come back they don't know how to come back and say this shit Scorpios, if you have been doing work when it comes to your love life and healthy relationships, right, and healthy partnerships, right, um, and joy-filled and just um, harmonious shit, it's yours to have. But you got somebody coming back that wants to, that wants to fake shit, like whatever the fuck they did, like they done did some thinking or you done did some thinking, Scorpio. And you're feeling like you, you, you know, you fucked up. You made some mistakes. So they, they're feeling like they fucked up. They made some mistakes. Hmm. All right. Overall energy on the board. You got the Empress. Come on now. Come on now. That's that abundance energy right there. Giving birth to your dreams. Come on now. Nurturing just not yourself, but others. But but it's important for you to get, to understand that you can't give what you don't have. Right? So all of this love and this Ten of Cups energy right here. You first got to give that to yourself internally. You got to you gotta know that you're worthy to have that. You got to vibrate at that shit. Right? You got to vibrate on that level to pull that back in. Throat chakra energy is saying, speak your truth, speak your truth, speak your truth. Be patient. Understand that everything has a process. Okay? Trust the process. Not other people's process. Trust your process. Become aware of who you are. Okay? The Empress is saying, follow your dreams. Okay? Okay? There's abundance and lavish abundance all around you. You got the seven of fire on the board talking. You know, seven of fire is your intuition. And it's saying to you, you're going to have to endure through some shit. And once again, I felt that in the beginning. You're going to have to push through some shit. And maybe some emotional shit you may have to push through. Okay? Now, the empress is supported and clarified by the nine of fire. Nine of fire, once again, has to do with your intuition. Fire energy is your intuition. And it's asking you to have courage and don't give up. It's asking you to protect that in which you have create, created. Uh, and you want to do that, first of all, from a place of internally, right? Protecting your mind, protecting your heart, right? And speaking your truth. Have the courage. The seven of fire is asking you to don't give up, to have endurance. You're going to have to persevere through some stuff. All right, what they're going to have to push past? You got the ace of fire on the board. The Ace of Fire is saying that there's beginnings happening. There's inspiration all around you. There's potential. You're going to have to push towards your potential. And I don't care if that potential is for your career. Okay? I don't care if that potential is for your family. I don't care if that potential is for your lover. Okay? You're going to have to push past potential. Yep. You got the spiritual warrior on the board, right? Now, the spiritual warrior is like the chariot, okay? Um, the chariot is asking you to have control. It's asking you to stand in your power. And it's saying that you're going to have to... You're going to have victory, but you're going to have to go within and do the fucking work. You cannot get past this shit if you're not doing the work. Some of you may even feel like you're going into hermit mode. I know I've been feeling like that. Like I don't really want to talk to nobody. Boom. 
You got the Father of Fire showing up on the board, a.k.a. the King of Wands on the board. I'm here and don't take no for an answer, especially when it comes to what you know in your heart should be so. Take your natural born leadership position. Fuck what you heard. I'm hearing that you don't need to give anybody an explanation. There was a lag, so I'm going to repeat that. I'm hearing you don't need to give anybody an explanation of how you're moving. This shit right here is going to be done spiritually. Half the shit when you get in these downloads, you're not going to be able to really explain shit to people anyway. A lot of you are fucking misunderstood anyway. Right? You've been calling in this. You've been calling in your Ten of Cups. You've been calling in your wealth. You've been calling in all of this on all levels, right? And whoever is coming back in to offer you this shit, they're not coming back in with bullshit because that's not what you're vibrating on. You on your spiritual warrior shit, right? Shit. How much fucking aces you gonna get on the board, Scorpio? I'm gonna take them all. Thank you. We got the ace of fucking earth on the board, a.k.a. the ace of pentacles. Didn't I just say this? I just said this. That's your manifestation right there, whatever. New financial opportunities, prosperity, your money, right? Ten of earth, a.k.a. ten of pentacles. That's your wealth right there. Okay, talked about that. Come on now. How much kings you got on the board? You got the king of air on the board, a.k.a. the king of swords, clear thinking. You got the son of earth on the board, a.k.a. the knight of um, earth, AKA, uh, which is also um, uh, the knight of uh, pentacles. This is all about efficiency, methodical, routine, things coming into order, alignment. And you got the mother of water, a.k.a. the queen of cups. You got a full set right here. You got your king coming back in and you got your queen coming in also, which is your balance of your feminine and your masculine energy. And I'm done with that. Set up for the next six months with this energy coming in, right? Um, full moon in Sagittarius is all about your intuition. Pay attention to your fucking intuition and everything, everything, everything. If you hear a whisper that says turn left, even if you can't fucking explain it or understand it, turn left. If you, you hear a, a whisper that says turn to channel 304, turn to channel 304. If you hear something say go to that restaurant, go to that restaurant. Okay. That silent whisper. Is never going to guide you wrong. There's a silent whisper and a knowing from within that you may not always be able to explain. But if you a motherfucking Scorpio, you're very intuitive. You're very deep. This right now where we are energetically, this is not a game. This is not a game. If you are not building your shit on integrity, it's going to crumble. If you're not trying to do your spiritual work, like, you're going to get stuck. You're going to get stuck in some cycles, repeating some shit, wanting to know why you are frustrated, wanting to know why ain't shit ain't moving. This is a time for you to now set up the next six months that's going to lead you into 2020. This is a time now for you to set up where you want your life to go. The energy has shifted. Okay? We are no longer, oh, the shift is coming. No, no, no. We, we, we shifted. Okay? I honestly feel... And I'm going to post some romance call for you before I go. I honestly feel, um, coming back from this trip, I last week, I came back last Tuesday. And I literally needed to take the week off. The energy was very, very heavy. Um, having to detox a lot of things with Pluto being in retrograde. Um, just knowing all of this new shit that we're going through. Right? If I don't fortify myself spiritually... Right? It's easy for you to get caught up if you're a light worker and an energy healer. It's easy for you to get caught up if you're ascending and you're not protecting yourself. Okay? 
Turn the fucking news off. Okay? Turn off music that's no longer um, fulfilling to your soul that makes you anxious. Get rid of the, the shit that, um, that makes you anxious. Some of you, your body is saying, Cassandra. I heard of Cassandra. Linnell. Robert. Missy or Misty. Jacqueline. Suzette. Ariel. Ambuqua or Ambuque or something like that is what I'm hearing. Jennifer. If somebody got the nickname like Pirate or something, I heard a pirate also. So these are names that I'm hearing. Okay. If you heard your name, <laughs> Samantha, maybe nicknamed Sam or something around Sam. Gertrude. Gerth uh, Gerth Hamina. Restance. Uh, Resenced. Apaqua. Mm, that's what I heard. I don't know if that's a nickname, a slang, or something in a different language, but if that resonates with you. I'm circling back to a Misty or a Misty. I'm hearing Misty. Misty, I'm hearing. Let the fuck go. Let go, Misty. Samantha, it's time to move. Cariel. Cariel, or maybe um, also Kendall. Um, I'm hearing open your eyes. It's there. That shit is there. Okay? That shit is there. All right. All right. Okay. Um. All right. This is going to be for my Scorpios that are in couples. What do you want my Scorpios that are in a coupled relationship to know? Now, please pay attention. You do not need to be... Um, physically separated from a person to be separated you can be in the same space with someone and still be separated okay so i say that to anyone that's in a relationship because you could be in a relationship and 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 the both of you live separate lives um and if that's the case they wanna they wanna come back home which is your heart okay yeah all right All right, my wonderful um, Scorpios that are in relationship. Let's see what you have for them. Especially if you've been doing your work. You're going to reap everything that you put in the work for. And it will multiply. It will multiply. Okay? Reconciliation. Like if y'all are going through a difficult time right now. You got reconciliation on the board if y'all are going through a difficult time right now. And I said that before I even pulled the cards, okay? Just you need to flirt a little bit and be more lighthearted. Don't be so um, controlling, Scorpio. There is attraction still there between the two of you. And I hear that you guys really have a good time together. Um, and I'm hearing that you guys are just fucking young, right? And when you know better, you do better, okay? Yeah, you guys need to take a honeymoon, which means you need a getaway, okay? And if you can't um, physically afford a honeymoon, y'all need to have a, a fucking a Netflix fuck weekend. If you got kids, grandma, auntie, uncle, okay? And y'all need to have a binge Netflix and fuck weekend. That's what y'all need to do. Y'all do need time alone. Preferably if y'all can get away from a you know, tropical island, that would be preferably. But if you can't create your own tropical shit, right? But you do need to stay optimistic, okay? Um, and continue to do the in internal work. Don't be impatient. 
Speak your truth. And you don't have to speak your truth from a place of pain and hurt. Remember, a cake is being offered to you. And these doves is trying to fly, honey. Okay? And this is from a Scorpios that are in relationships. Okay? If they're feeling like you've got away from their heart or you feel like they've got away from your heart, the attraction is still there. You guys can't work it out. Somebody's having to change their heart. Okay? And there is reconciliation there. So what do you have for my wonderful, wonderful single Scorpios? All right. My wonderful single Scorpios. True love keeps popping out. Okay, we're going to put that back in. Let's see. All right. Single, single Scorpios. What do you have for my single Scorpios? I'm just going, like, seriously? Right. Okay. Whoever you're calling in has the potential to be the one. So definitely you want to make sure that you're calling in truly on what you want to experience. Remember how energy works. Energy is not, uh, it don't give a shit about good, bad, or evil. Energy is whatever you're putting your focus and your intention on, I will deliver to you. Like audience, um, ordering online. If you click that you want that red jumpsuit, you are going to get the red jumpsuit, okay? But if you really want it black, you should have clicked black, Okay. You're calling in your soulmate, my wonderful single Scorpios, and this could possibly be the one, especially if you met this person already. Um, this is definitely along the vibrational um, energy of true love, and I really feel like that's for those of you that's been doing the work, okay? Um, you do need to free yourself, which, and this is where this comes in with your throat chakra, too. Free yourself by expressing your, yourself, okay? Uh, and... Uh, I kind of felt like some of us was going to be going into a hermit mode and taking control back of our lives or where we felt like control may not have um, perfectly, um, uh, uh, perfectly and imperfectly made ripples and waves into a life that we don't necess necessarily want to experience anymore, okay? Um, it's time to take control back of your life. Speak your truth. Speak your truth, okay? Uh, now, is say religious factors or um, influence in your love life? And honestly, I really feel like that's because you're not in a place anymore where you're stagnant, okay? You're in a place more where you're seeking higher vibrational things, especially when it comes to your spirituality um, or your religion, you know, uh, whatever floats your boat, okay? But it's definitely to a place where this relationship has to encompass everything that you are, right? And also be able to embrace the things that you're not. So you can come together, right? And create a multiverse. Your universe and their universe, which creates a multiverse, right? Uh, which means that you don't necessarily want the person to... Um, uh, be one particular religion or domination if you are open to love you just need to make sure that that person has a um spiritual uh foundation uh and this is for my singles that's really on their shit doing their mystical work okay so it doesn't really matter your background as far as religion is concerned, but as far as your love is concerned, whoever's coming in they need to have some type of spiritual war boom okay so that's gonna be important to you. All right, this is going to be for my Scorpios that are newly separated and is having questions about reconciliation, okay? All right, what you got for my Scorpios that are newly separated that's thinking about reconciling? I am hot. I am going to turn off the air conditioner um, after this and probably go grab lunch. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. <sighs> yeah. I feel like Scorpios, um, if you want this relationship to work with your ex, you need to allow this time, um, 
this time of separation for y'all to get to know each other, right? And stay optimistic about that because if you're doing your mystical work and you're on your higher vibrational shit and you're doing all of the things that we talked about, which you're now aligning your heart, your throat, and your third eye together and pulling in what you want, right? There's no need for you to not be optimistic about all this good shit that's coming in, right? You're going to have to free yourself and express yourself and ask for what you want, okay? Clearly decide for what you want. Clearly decide what you want and then ask for it, okay? Um, this appears that there is true love here with you guys. And you're going to have to flirt someone. Let go of control issues is what I'm hearing too, okay? Boom. Express your love for each other. But somebody needs to let go of control issues. There may have been some deception here, okay? This person could be your soulmate. You're going to have to make an effort, right? But I feel like the deception is really based more on emotion. Somebody also could be acting childish. Or was acting childish. Right? Somebody's not being honest about their feelings. And I really feel like that has more to do with they're not sure how to fix or how to say or how to express. Okay? They're not sure. Um, but it's... It's workable. It's workable. Okay. Um, just express yourself. Be open. Let go of your control issues and see what happens. All right, my wonderful, 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 wonderful Scorpios. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you check out the description box where you can find out where you can get your 11-11 reading. Also, make sure you check out my girl Kim Warner's um, information in the description box. She does natal charts and the goal is to know thyself so you can gain self mastery okay make sure that you do something kind for yourself and make sure that you love yourself drink plenty of water and if your diet um is changing allow that change to happen okay bye guys bye